we have a new map called Trench Warfare. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna create the biggest trench war ever, at least in a video game. Cause I'm pretty sure the ones in real life had like millions and millions of people as well. But look at this. We've got deep earthworks. We've got these little like tank trap hedgehogs. I'm, I'm not sure why they're where they are. And we have a whole lot of soldiers with, you guessed it, the trench sweeper, the shotgun. And facing off against them, well, to be quite frank, is going to be 100,000 zombies. Wait a minute. What we could do is go into RTS mode, click some of these guys, and maybe try to put them in and around the bunker. Let's move everyone up to the high point because if you look on the horizon there, this is where 1 million zombies are actually going to be coming from. Now, in this type of situation, what you need is long-range artillery. Now, unfortunately, all we have are nukes. <laughs> what do you mean, unfortunately? Nukes and tsunamis, which don't really seem to fit. But look at this. As our troops take the high ground, the question is, will we be able to hold it? How many of our men are going to be able to shoot? Whoa, 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 hold on. Guys, where, where are you going? This isn't the plan. They're just going absolutely ham right now. Uh, 10,000 shotgun soldiers, almost 1 million zombies. And look at this. The trenches create really, really good choke points, don't they? We need to be mindful of that because if we're going to have the biggest trench war ever, then what we need to do is block these choke points. That is what we need to do. Now, they're opening up fire, but I think it's clear that what we need to do is a tactful withdrawal. A strategic uh, running away, as it were. So you've seen what the map looks like in game. This is what it looks like from the air. Let's get 10,000 men and put them right here. These guys need to be on hold, I'm pretty certain. And I think we might want to do a rank shape of two. This is the other one right there. We want them on hold as well. I think what we're going to need to do is get our German soldiers who are going to be assisting us in this and have them hold the right flank. Now, we don't have artillery yet, but what we need to do is get a Sherman tank. What we can do is lower their attack speed to like maybe 0.0 or 0.3. The damage is going to be 1,000, however. The attack range is going to be 1,000. Well, I guess the highest we can go is 900, so maybe 700. Splash damage is going to be big. Splash damage radius. I guess if a Sherman tank is five, we're gonna make it 20. Accuracy, 93%. Now that we've got the artillery, let's put them in. Now I think we only want about maybe 100 of them, and we're gonna put them back on this hill right here in a hold formation. They should be able to cover all three of these points. The only one I'm worried about is right over here. We've only got a thousand men holding that corner. Well, Oh, man. Okay, you can see the soldiers in position, the zombies on the horizon. I'm very curious to see when the artillery pieces are going to start firing. We made their range really, really long. I cannot wait till there's Steam Workshop support for this game. Once this gets mods, it's going to be so much better than it already is. You know what? The left flank is, like, really, really well done. I can't imagine the left flank falling faster than the right. Like, look at that. These thousand guys holding that, nothing's gonna get through there because they're just gonna trickle in. It's kind of hard to see like where they can enter and where they can exit. This is an obvious one, however. Oh my gosh. Imagine you're a soldier and you're like, you know what? You're right on the front, in the ditch. That would be absolutely terrifying. All right, artillery just started firing. Oh, they've got an exceptional range. Oh man, and the splash damage on these guys? And I think there's, what, maybe a hundred tanks? I mean, artillery pieces? <laughs> They're mobile artillery pieces. Isn't that what tanks really are, if you think about them? The artillery's doing an exceptional job. This is what it looks like as the zombies start streaming in. Yeah, I think the issue... Oh, never mind. What? How did I totally forget about this unit way over here on the right flank? The issue with these guys is I'm not entirely sure they're getting artillery support. It's only the force in the center. So once again, oh, hold on guys. The zombies are creeping through right around here. What? There's like this little gap right there. That's where we should have put a hundred. 
We should have split this force because now what's going to happen is these guys are going to get surrounded. They're completely cut off. They have no artillery support. We didn't make artillery fire long enough, I guess. This is truly the biggest trench war that I've ever seen. And this one's a little bit different because it's got zombies. Now, these guys are doing a very, very good job at clogging these choke points. But the forces that creep in on this side are the ones you really got to worry about. But they seem to be... Whoa! Oh, artillery pieces just found them out. So artillery can hit here. And this is what it looks like. If you're a zombie... Now... Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Okay, yeah, so they're definitely trickling in. We need like MG42s, airstrikes, things like that. Now the deal here is if they can hold out just long enough, we're gonna be able to call in nuclear ordnance. Now what's interesting though is I think we put these guys over here. These guys aren't even facing anybody. So it's just the center and the right flank being hit absolutely hard. We probably could have taken this hill and used it as a strategic place to call in artillery, maybe. You know what we could do? Here we go. Let's fix it. If we got problems and we need to mobilize our troops, well, guess what? That's what real-time strategy mode is for. So, these guys don't seem to be doing a lot. We're gonna call in these, what, 21 tanks? And we need artillery, I guess, here. And we need them on primary orders, move, and secondary orders, hold. So those artillery pieces should be moving slowly but surely. They'll have to, f oh my gosh, look at this. They're going through the trenches. This is hilarious. But I mean, it, I mean, if you were getting shot at, you'd want to move through the trenches as well. That's just how big they are. And let's see, I'm going to move a couple closer. We've got multiple battalions of artillery pieces moving into position. The enemy has lost over uh, 200,000 zombies. I've never seen trenches used against zombies in like TV shows and movies and video games, right? But maybe, maybe they're like the most effective thing at slowing down a zombie other than bullets is a hole in the ground. Like if an artillery piece could consistently target this spot here, not many zombies at all would be getting through. So, I don't think we can tell the artillery pieces where to fire specifically, but we can definitely move them closer. How is the far right flank holding? We've got 30,000. 30,000 against 1 million. They're doing fine, honestly. And now that these artillery pieces have moved in here, they should be able to cut the supply lines of the zombies. Oh, yes. Okay, now maybe if we put a few behind them? Yeah, we're gonna move a few tanks. Eh, artillery. See, this is the problem when you have to make your own. Guys, what what is your mal malfunction here, boys? All right, we need you guys on immediately behind. That way, I don't know. Normally, 30,000 troops couldn't defeat a million on open ground. They would immediately get swarmed, but here with the natural choke points, you don't put your soldiers in them, you put your soldiers behind them. And maybe artillery is just really, really good right now, but uh, buddy, don't don't fall into the hole, please. Yeah, just just shoot the enemy. Maybe, maybe just, I don't know, do what you're supposed to do. He's like, nah, boss, uh, that's, that's, that makes way too much sense. I, I don't like that idea at all. Have the mobile artillery pieces, there they are. They're rolling through the forest right now. Imagine you're the commander and you've been given 30,215 troops and you need to defend against 1 million. Now the catch is you've got ranged weaponry and apparently infinite ammo, but now the trenches are starting to lose their like stalling power because the zombies can just run over bridges of bodies. But I think they're just trickling in way too slow. What I would do if I was the humans is barricade these bunkers like really, really well and put soldiers with machine guns in them. Like imagine if you had flamethrowers. This would attract a lot of zombie attention. You could probably roast. I don't know how much, but it would be an insane amount. And at this point, the enemy is at 60% of their starting numbers. Whoa, 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 boys. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna possess this guy. Run! Boom! <laughs> Uh, uh, did I jam up? Oh, I don't think you can move while you're reloading. Uh, guys, where are we supposed to go? Yeah, you can't move while you're reloading for some reason. 
Uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting surrounded and really, really hurt. But this is the choke point. <laughs> oh, covering fire. Oh, apparently this is a good spot. Hey, bud, let me through the door. I mean, I guess you're covering me, right? So for some reason, the mobile artillery moved to the other side of the trench. The AI is special, but the enemy is down to 54% maximum strength. I think it's abundantly clear that these trenches are such a like this is better than castles. Granted, when we were doing castles versus zombies, we had medieval weaponry. So what you would want to do probably in this instance is like call in your air force and do some massive carpet bombing. The amount of zombies you could take out in one carpet bomb. That's what we need as abilities. We need to be able to call in air force. That would be so much cooler than nukes. Nukes are awesome. And Noah's Flood is cool. Well, Noah's Flood's kind of dumb, but Tsunami's really cool. But would be even cooler than all of that, uh-oh, is aerial bombardment. Are we still doing okay over here? The zombies look... Oh, that's just the all the dead mounds. They're lower than 50% at this point. Now, if you could somehow call in a carpet bomb, you could liken a carpet bombing to, say, a tsunami. Rolling thunder. Because I don't know if the humans have lost a single unit. Call in! <laughs> okay, the, the coordinates of the uh, carpet bomb were inverted, apparently. However, it looks like some of them... Okay, so what we need to do is call in one this way. There we go. Carpet bomb. Move in. Dude. All right, so the right flank is probably extremely secure now. The center being covered by heavy artillery is just dominating. Look at how much tracer fire is coming out of our far left flank. And that's not even the last group, is it? I'm not sure these guys have killed a single zombie. So let's move these guys over to, I'd say, the center, I guess. Come on, boys. Tactical maneuvering. The biggest zombie trench defense in the history of the world. This area just looks like it's been hit with heavy artillery. Like, look at how deep <laughs> that crater is. This guy, can you even get out of this? Soldier, can you get out of this trench? Wow, I don't, you're not able to get out of this trench. Go boys, go. Shotgun soldiers moving in. The enemy is under 20% of their forces. We need to have different zombie types, like exploding ones, rage ones that run really fast. What are some other like classic zombie types? that we would need to make the zombie faction much, much cooler. I feel like a necromancer that could raise units from the dead would also be amazing. Oh, this is interesting. We've got flooded bunkers. Wait, is this from my tsunami? I think it is, yeah. Oh, we created a river and it's forcing the zombies to divert themselves. Hold on a second. Did we finally find a use for Noah's flood? Flood the trenches. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, dig a trench, flood it, boom. You've defended yourself. So at this point, I think what we should do is take the army. Gentlemen, secondary orders. Go, go, go. Against my better judgment. We're telling all of our soldiers. What's this? Guard position. Yeah, I guess we're moving into guard position. You know what? Let's go and attack. Look at this. Eliminate all of the undead oh my gosh it's hard to keep up with what's actually happening now going on the offensive naturally we will suffer losses but at this point i think it's clear and you know what we've held out long enough it's time to call in the heavy artillery the czar bomba our russian allies oh god please don't kill any of my guys that i always forget just how big that is look at that as we're right in the middle of it. So now there's only 65,000 zombies and they're probably... You know what? It could be the group that's trying to migrate over here. Call in one other Zong Zar Bomba strike. And by one other, I mean two. We need to select the nuke. Boom. Oh, look at all the zombies flying. <laughs> oh. Now there's another big group over here. Dude. 
flooding the trenches. These are the best defenses I've ever seen against zombies in this game. Better than castles. Better than castles. I think we see some over here. Somehow there's still like 40,000 of them. Are any of them alive? These ones are all dead. There's some activity still over here. Oh, here we go. Here's a mini horde. It's really hard to make them out because they're running over the field of the dead. Hold on. What is this? This might be the remaining zombies. Hopefully. Uh, call it an artillery danger. Close. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't hurt our guys. How do they still have 42,000? Wait, there's a group. Oh, there's a bunch way back here. <laughs> At the beginning trenches. Fire. Oop. Oh. <laughs> and fire. Direct hit. I'm sorry, but they can't have too many left after those two strikes. So we've got two types of Egyptian soldiers. The spearmen and... Wait a minute. Wait, they all have... Oh, these guys have Kopeshes and look at their hats. Oh my God. Now these guys are on guard mode, which is a new mode, meaning why are you standing backwards? But as soon as they get hit by this oncoming horde of Persian soldiers, the AI should kick in and... Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's an epic clash. So now the Egyptians are greatly outnumbered. They have 10,000 to about 20,000 Persian soldiers. And I want to see who's the strongest, who's the bravest. So these guys are wielding Kopesh swords and they've got amazing looking armor. Although the armor's just on their heads, not, you know, the rest of their exposed brawny body, which when you put it that way, Oh, the Persians are wrapping around, but look at this. Because they're on guard mode, they'll actually maneuver in such a way. This is fascinating. I was wondering. I was like, you know, what is really going to be the ultimate difference between Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 1 and 2? We do have RTS mode, but this guard mode is a big change. That being said, I wonder if it could have been an update to UEBS 1. But I think there's also some massive changes to the performance. So let's see. Wow. The Egyptians are definitely holding their lines very, very well. They have 8,000. So they've lost just under 2,000 soldiers, but they've killed almost 7,000 Persians. This is why you don't want conscript armies, Xerxes, when you're going against well-trained armies of the ancient times. Like, look at these guys with their shields. They're probably able to hold the line just a little bit longer. They may not do as much damage as their Kopesh wielding brethren, but by God, they're going to hold the line. Wait, where's where's my Eagle Warriors? There they are. Man, these, this line is just so massive. But I don't know who's doing the best. Let's see. If we look at it, it looks like some weird Joker smile. Um, I guess there's actually a thicker part of the lip right here so it's the shieldy boys that are holding the line better but is it also because the persian line is also thicker right or is it just too close to really tell oh wow it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio it does appear that the egyptian army is going to be able to hold the line they're standing on the bodies of their fallen friends and enemies, using it as it a wall of sorts, much like the Persian or the Spartans did at Thermopylae, allegedly. Then again, maybe some of my information is coming from a comic book version called 300 that was made into a movie. Yeah. Okay. So that's the tail end. I love the AI's tactics here. They're pulling away. Oh, wow. Okay. So shields and spears are better than cool looking helmets and Kopesh swords. Now the Egyptians almost outnumber the Persians two to one. What would be really interesting is if the AI had like a morale, sort of like the Total War games, which I think the Total War games were almost like the original battle simulators. They just never called themselves battle simulators because they also had that really cool campaign mode. Now, if we could just tell, oh wow, look at just this absolute route down the line as the Egyptians just turn and start to double envelop the Persians. Needless to say, King Xerxes is also not gonna be able to conquer Egypt as well as Greece. Yeah, I, I think that the cooler looking guys aren't the 
the best ones of these new Egyptian faction. But there is a new boss unit, a new special unit that is going to be joining the Egyptian army. Ooh, this is nice. A proper UI update. I guess it's the game dev nerd in me. Now, down here is the singular unit. We're going to put her, yes, Cleopatra versus 250,000 Persians. So here she is. I don't know what her powers are going to be, but she's not holding a weapon. Oh my God, look at those claws. Is she just gonna claw them? She's got a really cool looking hat. All right, Cleopatra, what are you going to do against these poor? Oh, oh my God. Oh, snap. Holy crap. And then she charges in? No, she's still just hanging back here being a wizard. She's a witch. Well, how do, how do you know she's a witch? Well, because she looks like one. Okay, so that's pretty powerful. Those fireballs are an amazing effect. Bringing in magic to the mix is incredible and a great, great thing. I don't think she's as powerful as, say, Nikola Tesla, but you could definitely see scenarios. Oh, yeah, you, you, you want to see them, right? Where you upgrade her fire rate. So we go to character customization and we find our brave Cleopatra. Accuracy, 100%. Attack range, doubled. Attack speed multiplier, 10 toppled, I don't know. Impact force, we want physics, seven. Splash damage, 690. And a splash radius of 6.3. Well, we can't do decimals, dang it. We need, she has something that's not in here. Super bullet? Is that what it is? She might have a power that we can't even use yet. All right, these are magic bullets. Yeah, these are, okay. Wait a minute, that, that doesn't seem to be that good. Okay, we've actually nerfed her, but that's not even the most <clears throat> explosive update in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Although you can see her firing. There's this weird looking fortification that we need to hold at all costs. Oh, it's a beautiful medieval castle. We can have proper sieges. Now these World War II units have been set to guard mode. We have Thompson wielding assault troops and shotgun wielding. Good old boys from Oklahoma, Iowa, Idaho, all those states where they grow potatoes and corn. And against them is one million zombies. Now, I have to say, if things are looking dire, we cannot lose the city. We'll have to destroy it using, well, let's just say we have the nuclear option available. One million against 10,000. That is 100 to one. And they are set on guard, so I'm actually kind of curious if they're going to charge ahead or since they're range units, if they'll hang back. They're already firing on the zombies, but I mean, I don't know. That's just, that's a lot of zombies. Look at that, man. That's covering the horizon. Now let's take a look at this castle, which is going to be amazing to set up attacks and defenses. As you guys are watching this, I want you guys to leave in the comments what kind of battles you'd really like to see in the next video. If you see a comment that you're like, man, that guy's got a great idea. We'll give it an upvote so it's more than likely to be chosen. Oh my god, look at Mount Everest kind of rendering in off in the distance over there. Oh, these guys, the guard mode, they are kind of peeking out a bit. The zombies are getting close, but I don't know if it's close enough. Wait, some of the troops have like maneuvered over here. Look at that. They're like, I'm gonna fill in these lines. They keep getting reinforced, but the zombies look like they're getting closer. So already 40,000 zombies have died. Now every soldier is firing. So if I was the Dark Lord, I would go into RTS mode. I'd command the second army. I would grab a whole chunk. I would set their secondary orders to attack and I would flank as hard as I could. Let's see if that's enough. Oh. The zombies have started to create, I think maybe some casualties. Oh yeah, there's definitely soldiers dying. And this flank could be pretty effective. Oh, they're spilling it over here too. Oh man, I don't know. This is gonna be a very, very brave defense, but I think like when you look at this, it's gotta favor the zombie apocalypse, right? Wait a minute, is that a satellite flying overhead? Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about what things that satellite could be armed with, like, <clears throat> Nuclear ordnance detected. It's like StarCraft and you're the Zerg playing against the Terran and all of a sudden you hear nuclear launch detected. And you're like, oh my God, oh God, 
Oh god, where is it? And your friend across the land table is just cackling maniacally. Yeah, that's how it feels like. The human forces are starting to dwindle. I actually wonder if since they're on guard mode, if they're not holding their shape very well, if that's negatively affecting them. Because the more they go out and the more they're exposed, the more are going to die, which means the less guns firing. And over time, the more losses you take, well, uh, your fire rate goes down and the zombie apocalypse is still 875,000 strong. Wow. In the time I, I said that, they literally lost 2,000. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, never mind. I was going to say all the humans that were right here died, but they've actually bunched up. But they're slowly getting eaten alive. Well, eaten alive and then they're dead and then they're zombie. You know how a zombieism works. It's like, guys, <laughs> why didn't you fight inside of the castle walls? Well, uh, you know, I don't know. It's like we want to see the nukes or something. The new map looks great. I love guard mode. I think the Egyptian faction looks really cool. I like how the game is already receiving updates. Oh my gosh. This flank is just massive. They are wrapping around them. The humans still have over 9,400, but they are starting to dwindle. And it almost seems like there's no end to the zombies. But it begs the question, what if instead of using some brave officer was like, you know what? Our general's an idiot. He's saving the most powerful weapon that we have available in case the city falls. Why don't we use it to make sure the city <clears throat> doesn't fall? So we have shotgun smite, which doesn't really do much. You have Noah's flood, which also doesn't really do much. These god powers sure don't feel like them. But now we have nuclear weapons. The Death Star will be in range in five seconds. I'm not sure the, the blast radius of this nuke. So we're just going <clears> to <throat> fire it. Nuclear launch detected. Oh my god. That was glorious. Now, how long does the mushroom cloud stake around? Wow. Are you kidding me? They just lost like 300,000 zombies. I've got to see this from a better angle. Now, if we fire into that mess, they've got 411,000. Until the nuke. That is a mushroom cloud and a half. That is gorgeous. And the zombies just, their numbers dropped by another 100 thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars you can't put a price on zombies that was great but they're requesting danger close firing operation on the human left flank the zombies have made incredible progress it's almost like some great necromancer general fire now did that blast oh god oh no oh my uh that was a little bit too close i just eviscerated everything the humans too not just the men but the women and the children too nuke everything how many world war ii soldiers would it take to hold off an army of one million zombies right here we've got ten thousand world war ii american soldiers armed with pump shotguns now the rules are simple this is uebs2 sandbox mode that's a million zombies they have technically infinite ammo the zombies are getting close and if this group of soldiers cannot deliver what we're going to do is upgrade our army we are going to add to it by getting different world war ii weapons technologies and additional soldiers up until we can hold off a zombie army that is in the millions Needless to say, shotguns are closer range, so it should be about now that they start able to get in range and open up fire. At distance, it doesn't seem like they're the most accurate, but as the zombies get closer, the sheer kinetic power of this group of shotgunners starts to show their merit. But you'll notice that the zombies are, well, they are billions. Although in this case, they are millions. Million and they're getting closer on the flanks. But it does look like every single World War II soldier in this army is able to fire. But the zombies are inching closer. And the weakest spot is definitely the corner because think about it, this guy has to shoot that way and that way at the same time. But he is, after all, only a man. So in the middle, they have less targets to focus on. They're doing the best. But the flanks, 
are starting to get overwhelmed. Now, getting out of cinematic mode, you can see that we have 10,000 World War II soldiers, and we've killed about 41, 42-ish thousand zombies. No World War II soldier has died yet, but I fully expect it to change very quickly. There it is, 9,999. The first soldier has died. A crack in the armor has presented itself. Now five, six, seven. Let's see this from the sky. The flanks are the weakest spot. The middle is holding strong, but eventually, as they close in, more and more soldiers are gonna have to pick more and more targets, and even more zombies will break in and make contact. But it is pretty impressive how clean of a line this is, running in the middle here. No zombies. All of the zombies. So much so, that our soldiers are like drowning in the bodies. They're up to their waist. So if you know, your mouth and nose were in your wa waist, then you would be drowning. But I guess, not yet. The big issue is once this. Because if you think about it, it's almost like you're an engineer and it's all about surface area. But the surface area here is gnashing, clawing teeth against your flesh. So this gap is going to shrink and the zombies are just going to start eating even faster. They've lost about 15% of their numbers. In the World War II soldiers, about 3% right now. But eventually, look at this. They're starting to get a surround. It's pretty impressive, the tactics. I mean, swarm tactics, but they are tactics nonetheless. Because if you think about it, what it means is the guys in the back aren't shooting forward, they have to shoot backwards. So this line is actually getting closer. And as this guy line gets closer, then these guys are gonna have to start looking left and right instead of just straight forward. The gap is shrinking. And look at how many more zombies there are, my God. Now here's where things I believe begin to turn. About 10% of the World War II soldiers have fallen and the zombies are still at 66.6%. .6%. You see that? The devil's number, it doesn't bode well. Look at this, if you're an outside soldier, you're like at a significantly higher elevation than your friends are. Toggling this to slow motion, the tracer fire is a little bit more manageable in the eyes. Look at this. This zombie's like running in the lines. What are you doing? Oh, you're falling. Oh, you're eating his... Whoa. This is strange. The zombies are just like... That's one thing. If there was more physics and it was a little more realistic, as the zombies would die, they'd fall on you. They would be burying these people. That would be an amazing, amazing aspect of this battle simulator if it wasn't it. Which begs the question. When it comes to battle simulators, what do you think is the key gameplay mechanic that makes them fun? Is it scale, like Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator? Is it customization? Is it silly or fun physics? What do you think it is? Look at this. The gap has almost completely closed. So what that means is the humans are going to die a little bit faster. And as more and more die, more and more zombies get in. So it's almost like a snowball. And it's always the flanks that get hit the hardest. Look at this. This guy's firing at point blank range. So the zombies are closing on about 50% of their forces are left. Kind of crazy. 500,000, they've only killed about 20%. But you see, the tide is turning. It's, it's, it's not looking good. Look at this part. These guys are shooting straight up now at this point. Imagine being this guy, and all you see is just zombies. <laughs> this is terrifying. I would love if you could have, like, god powers, but, like, conventional ones. Like, I want to call in a carpet bomb, carpet bombing mission by, like, B-17 World War II bombers. Or if you're Germany, like, V-2 missile strikes. Now the zombies' perspective looking down, slow motion. Zombies, oh yeah. So many, so many of these American soldiers would get pushed back. You wouldn't be able to hear anything because of all of the sounds of gunshots. You would be deaf probably after this battle, assuming you even survived. Look at this from afar. You're in a hot air balloon on your honeymoon at a safari, checking out the Serengeti. And you're like, oh my God, honey, look at that. It's a zombie apocalypse meeting human opposition. And I say that while like gas is at $5 a gallon. And you're like, all right, I'm not going on any honeymoons anytime soon. Plus, you know, zombie apocalypse. 
This is just nuts. The zombie mountains gotta be my favorite part. Maybe they will be able to do it. The zombies have lost about 80% of their forces. World War II, just over 50% right now. But their lines are being stretched. So after this, we're gonna increase the level of World War II technology and weapons that we have at our disposal, but we are going to double, even triple, the zombie apocalypse. There's this really strange area of the battlefield. Like, look at this. Somehow, zombies are falling down this hill, rolling over this one, and landing right here. It is the absolute weirdest thing. Now, this is where you would have started the battle. This is where you'd end up later. I love seeing these crazy elevated positions and viewpoints. And if you're at the top, you're like looking at the top of the heads of the zombies. These guys have the hardest job and they're the ones that die the quickest. Yep, there they go. Just getting wrecked. I don't know. There's only less, there's 8% of the original zombies, but it's still like 77,000. Humans are under 50% of their starting count, but you just gotta imagine. I, I thought they were gonna get overrun. These shotguns are no joke. This is World War Z. The zombies are literally just like running and jumping and throwing themselves at them. The zombies are coming. Look, all of them have that weird birthmark, AKA blood <laughs> on the back of their, well, uh, on the back of their bodies. The shotguns are not are just going straight up at this point, but I don't know. I don't see the humans losing anymore. Like there's almost no alive zombies in this section of the battlefield. And that allows more of them to concentrate on the flanks, keeping them alive. They have broken, they have endured the zombie apocalypse. And at this point, the result is inevitable. Man will not be defeated. Look at this. We built a pyramid of zombies in our last video. Wonder what other things we could try to do. Oh, wow. They've wiped out this entire side other than a handful. You're kidding me. There's less than 7,000. Less than 5,000. And now all of these soldiers are able to fire on the right side. Glorious combat. This game is just wild. For sheer scale, there's no other game like it. I wish there was a little bit more physics, but I guess if you had more physics and combat variety, you wouldn't have a million zombies out there. You'd have like a thousand, maybe. Like in tabs, you can't even get, what, 300 units on there without just having your computer die. There are less than 50. Oh my God, it's like they stopped shooting for a second. There's nine of them left? I, Where are they? I think we broke the game. These guys are just like starting a Christmas show. Freedom, 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 America. So here's the question then. If you added even more soldiers, shotguns in the front, Tommy guns in the middle, bolt action long range rifles, and then Sherman battle tanks. How would the zombies do? Especially if you factor in, there's so many tanks that they're so deep that what you gotta do is actually grab a bunch and move them to the flanks. But just for the sake of this, let's not do that. Everybody back. Nope, not you guys. I wanna see what it looks like when they open fire. Because if 10,000 could hold off, then 18,000 definitely can. Oh, look at that, the tanks, the first tanks are firing and the tanks are just absolutely devastating to swarms. As they open fire, like the tank shells, like obviously they're high explosive rounds. They can hit multiple targets. I don't think the zombies are gonna be anywhere close here. They might not even touch the beginnings of the lines. And most of these tanks aren't even shooting. I don't know what's going on. Wait a minute, is that a zombie? What is that right there? There's one random German soldier <laughs> He's like playing Frogger with all the Sherman tanks. I wouldn't recommend that. You have a better chance dying back there than up here against the zombies. Welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I'm just kidding. This is Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Oh my god. Anubis, was that you? Now, what we're going to be seeing is naturally a uh, an accurate battle here between World War II soldiers, some of which have some pump shotguns. Others have semi-automatic submachine guns there, and by semi-automatic, I actually mean fully automatic. I'm just excited to be here, because Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, you could process like tens of thousands of entities, right? Pretty well. 
But now with the advancement of the technology in this game and the advancement of hardware technology, we're going to be seeing hundreds of thousands to millions. So naturally to test that out, we're going to have World War II American soldiers in ancient Egypt fighting millions of zombies. I mean, it, it only fits, right? But look at how visually beautiful this is. Now, I've got a 1080 Ti, but I'm thinking about upgrading my graphics card, but I know that they've put out a number of footage and they've even recorded it on a 1060. So, the technology between UEBS-1 and UEBS-2 is quite considerable. Now, this is another interesting thing. Um, this is 4K footage, and we're processing it in 4K and uploading it to YouTube in 4K. So that's one of the first times I've done that before, which is pretty exciting. But, like, look at this. In UEBS-1, like, I would have been having lag to even attempt to put this many enemies on the battlefield. But there's a number of new features that are going to be coming to UEBS-2. Obviously, as you can see here, sandbox mode is returning. But there's going to be an addition in game modes. They're going to add campaign modes, which are going to be kind of like story driven. So I'm pretty excited to see that. But I just remember seeing Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. What was that? Many, many years ago? I think it was 2017. And just seeing hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of units just battling it out. You hear that, Marika? But like, this is insane. The amount of bullets that are flying and being processed, the blood and particle effects there. All this is happening and it seems to be relatively seamless. I mean, the maps are even more, like, visually detailed. This is incredible stuff. Look at that shot. Oh my god. The pyramids at Giza are under attack by hundreds of thousands of zombies. But don't worry. We've got, uh, American soldiers here to protect us. So, fear not! American firepower? There, there must be oil in this desert somewhere. But... Here's a question. How many of you guys are excited for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 and would like more exclusive footage to be released on the channel in the build-up to the release of this game? I'm in touch with the developers because I've made a number of videos on UBS one some of which are just millions and millions and millions of views. It's, it's pretty awesome, because who doesn't love epic battles? But if you guys want to see more, well, let me know. You guys know what to do. One of the other things that I loved about UBS one is what we're seeing right there. As enemy units get killed, they almost build these, like, walls of bodies. And then the other entities that are going to be coming behind them have to climb over it. I remember, like, watching the movie 300 in the movie theaters, and, like, they made the wall out of bodies to protect them during the Battle of Thermopylae, right? And then UBS came out, and I had a battle where, like, we created the Spartans, and we had them fighting the Persians. Oh, my God. Look at, look at the level of detail. Now, granted, all those entities are more or less the same model, but when you're processing and rendering out that many entities, like... Hundreds of thousands to millions is on the Steam page, which, by the way, is out now, so you can wishlist the game if you're interested. <laughs> These guys are basically, like, starting to get buried by zombies. But this battle will happen. So here's the thing. I asked for, uh, I wanted World War II soldiers versus zombies. Now, here's the thing. I didn't necessarily be like, I want it in a beautiful ancient Egypt, but I'm glad I did. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. But if we were to get more footage, what would you want to see? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. There's Spartans, there's ducks, World War II Marines, uh, guys with auto shotguns. Like, there's a number of different stuff that's on their Steam page, like giants and medieval soldiers. Mount Olympus, mountain fortress and home of the gods, is under attack. Because it appears even here, the zombie plague has stricken. Oh, God. This man needs to see a dentist. Speaking of needing to see a dentist, Mount Olympus is going to be defended by the British. Here you can see Her Majesty's finest red coats. 1,000 in this formation. Quite 
a formidable army. How powerful are these musket balls? I don't see... Oh, God. This is... This may not be very good. We need to up their damage, I think, for these to be able to reenact proper muskets. And unfortunately, we didn't equip them with bayonets. So this could be bad. Gentlemen, for king and country, or queen, I don't know, at uh, during the 18th century, which one was it? King, queen? I mean, they had both, but which one did they say? For queen and country, pip pip cheerio. I like to think that uh, my British viewers are like, you know, you're kind of obnoxious, but I see you're trying to be funny. Well, the musketeers here are, uh, were able to win. But that was at a one-to-one -one ratio. 1,000 red coats, 1,000 zombies. What happens if there are 10,000 zombies? We have the same amount of red coats, but the zombies a little bit thicker in formation. You may charge when ready. This is what it's like to have muskets being shot at your face. Oh my. These guys are having some serious indigestion problems. It may have been chili night, but then again, chili isn't a British thing. But is it meat pies? Do they have a bad meat pie? Oh my. This is not good. Uh, the British are getting completely encircled. I love how the AI is like, you know what? I can't bite them here. I'm going to try to encircle them. And eventually you have these just like double envelopments where they're flanking on both sides and massing down the middle. Because unfortunately, the British do not have artillery, and I'm thinking that mu the muskets are still a little bit underpowered. I think for each shot, they should be doing damage. Because before we're gonna show off <clears throat> 100,000 or 1 million zombies, we need our red coats to be working. And that's where, look at this, this is my America Boom Boom. Now, we could use the secret weapon, the Mantis Shrimp, which is just ridiculous. But this red coat needs 200 damage. Actually, a standard zombie has 200 health. Oh my gosh, I guessed it. In it. There we go. Accuracy? These are the queen's finest. 95% accuracy. So, outnumbered 10 to 1, how do they fare now? The only thing limiting these soldiers is the fact that they are not equipped with extra rations of tea and their fire rate. I love when all the units don't fire at the same time, but you have this little, like, delayed staccato firing. It's beautiful. Why aren't... Oh, wow. Even with 95% accuracy and enough damage to kill a zombie in one hit, these guys still seem to be lacking in their ability. Now, it could be the topography. Maybe they picked a poor spot. But that being said, the zombies have almost lost half their troops. They've lost 40%, and the British are now about to where they've lost 40% of their numbers. So the British had them in the first half. I think it's evident they need artillery. However, the issue here is that we don't have proper 18th century artillery, at least not yet in this early access build. Which, by the way, leave your battle suggestions in the comments below. Wait, there's Nikola Tesla? I... I want one. I would like one single Nikola Tesla. He's a hero unit. He will be at the front of the formation. And behind him are artillery. Medieval catapults. We will get 50 of them. I'm very curious to see how good the catapults are, and even more so than that. Where are you? Nikola Tesla, like, you look like a pretty average dude. Oh, you're carrying a hair dryer. No, that's an alien kind of a gun. I mean, it wouldn't be alien, right, if Tesla made it. All right, Tesla, what do you got for us? Your neck is uh, awfully strange, by the way. I'm assuming it's going to be like a lightning beam, right? All right, Tesla, do your thing. Oh, there it is. Ha! Huh. Okay, that should help them control the middle. It does, like, it just blasts through an entire column of men. Well, in this case, the men are dead and they are called zombies. Look at this in slow motion. Dang. That thing is amazing. No zombie is able to really get too close, or at least stay there for very long. The catapults are firing and, and seem to be doing area of effect damage, uh, spilling zombies all over the place, creating projectiles that actually 
bleed through other zombies. They don't really do much more than that. Oh my goodness. It is raining zombies. Hallelujahs. It's raining dead men. This is chaotic. Oh my. The zombies are absolutely getting demolished at a precipitous rate. And the British have only suffered just over 10% casualties, at least at this point. The zombies are down to 2,000. 20% will make that 17% now of their original numbers. And I gotta say that the man himself, Nikola Tesla, is a big part of that. Oh man, I, I think I'm deaf now. Don't stand too close to a thousand muskets firing all at the same time. Oh, look at these catapults. Is that those rocks going right over my head? So it seemed like the left flank is the weak one and they're actually losing a decent amount of artillery fire here. Fortunately, there's not a whole lot of friendly fire. So long as you don't use the American shotgun troops. Oh, that's why. Most of the units don't have line of sight on this group of zombies over here. They need to strengthen the flank and they'll need to because the zombies are going up to 100,000. Now, if I was the British, I would pick a flatter area to fight. So if the zombies get 100,000, can Nikola Tesla lead them to victory? 1,051 versus 100,000. Let the games begin. So on a flat field, there should be a distinct advantage for line of sight now. He who has the greater range and the greater fire rate and able to do the more damage, the more DPS, should win, at least until the zombies close the distance. There's Mount Olympus in the background. What is that weird line? There's something flying over there. I can't tell what it is. All right, wow, the muskets have very good range. Wait a minute. I'm seeing a ton of zombies on the front line not getting wrecked. A lot of the muskets just go like over their head. Like, look at this. Somehow, some of these guys are like aiming up. That's 95% accurate. And these cannibals, this is like running a gauntlet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Slow motion catapult fire. Dude, look at those things flying in the air. Oh man. The physics of this is just truly fun to watch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're getting close. They will eventually get here. God powers selected a shotgun smite. Number keys or mouse wheel to switch. Oh! I... I am... I, I, I forgot. My vacation home was up on Mount Olympus and now I am Zeus. Okay, I guess that kind of works. So we have shotgun smite. Noah's flood? Uh... Okay. Let's, let's flood this area of the map, just for scientific purposes. Oh my. It looks like Creeper World. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. The flood doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Woo! It's raining flood. All right, let's go real time and see what this looks like. Yeah, I don't think it does a whole lot. So we don't have the nuke yet, just shotgun smite and Noah's flood. So in, in theory, I could... Protect the flank. Even that I don't think is gonna do too much. The artillery is getting flanked. I don't think the Brits can hang against a hundred thousand, even with me raining shotguns from above. I think we need more heroes. Yeah, the British definitely have lost this one. What other heroes are even in the game? Fantasy, we've got trolls. Trolls would be interesting. We have Action Man and Chunk Norris. <laughs> Chunk Norris, you're on that flank. Well, action man. And Chunk Norris, you're on that flank. But the zombies, uh, they're overcompensating. One million. One million zombies. Oh, there's weird rocks. Okay, guys, you're about to die. Because a million zombies is pretty terrifying. Like, look at this. There's the British formation. And then, oh yeah, that giant just thing covering the horizon. Yeah, zombies. I would need thermonuclear weapons. It just looks like old school TV static. What is with this gap? What is this mystery over here? Why are there no zombies in that spot? Does this even make sense? Oh, now they're filling it? This has gotta be one of the strangest things I've seen. They're avoiding it. They're scared of it. It must smell 
something terrible to them. What smells terrible to a zombie? Oh, you can see the Tesla ray going off. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Nikola Tesla. And now we have Action Man. Hey, it's Keanu Reeves. Look at you. She's definitely holding down that plank. Now, how's Chunk Norris doing? Where are you, Chunk? Oh, yeah. There he is. Look at his little outfit. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, There's been tens of thousands of zombies killed, but we're still working with a relatively small amount of British troops. We need to upgrade them. What we're going to do is get a red coat and have their attack range times 10. Their damage, 690. Their health, 420. Attack range is actually gonna be 203 because reasons. Impact force, four. Splash damage, one. Why not? Accuracy, 900%. <laughs> is that even possible? Sniper. And now, now that we have this elite force to aid humanity, we must field them on the battlefield. They're gonna even be behind the catapults. We're going to add even more armies. This is going to be an interesting formation, but it might just work. Now we added 600 men divided up into two groups in column formation on the flanks. Essentially, the idea is to control the flanks. Well, I mean, it's still a million zombies, so I'm not sure how good they're going to be. But at least it should keep the center formation from crumbling, and it should keep the artillery safe. The artillery is going to do the majority of the damage to this one million zombie army. I would love to see, like, trees be able to be felled from artillery fire. Uh-oh. The zombies are at the right flank and look like they are about to be at the left flank. Center formation is holding strong. At this point, they already would have met the enemy. Oh, you know what? This just attracted all of the zombies on that flank. <laughs> it was a good idea. Uh, but like, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do against a million zombies? Look at this. This is insane. Even with Nikola Tesla holding down the middle, Chunk Norris on the right flank, you can see zombies flying. Look at this. Let's see Chunk Norris in slow motion. Look at this guy. That's slow motion and he just looks like super fast. He doesn't even need to make contact with the zombies. They just go flying. I gotta say though, my new favorite hero, as much as I love Keanu Reeves, definitely Nikola Tesla because his weapon is amazing. This looks like something out of like Call of Duty, like in the zombies mode. Gosh, I missed that mode. Back when it was awesome. I still remember playing it for the first time. Oh man, I'm getting a video game nostalgia. Video game nostalgia is some of the best nostalgia I think you can have. Um, yeah, there are little formations on the right and left are completely enveloped. Our snipers are enveloped. Uh, Chuck Norris is still doing his thing, but the center formation is being enveloped and artillery is, I think, starting to get destroyed or just about to. Yep. What we need is Gatling guns, cannons, mortars, like old school, because unfortunately, Mount Olympus, the siege, we've only delayed the forces. This is our Thermopylae. Oh gosh, these poor men fighting to the bitter end. The snipers getting overwhelmed. Artillery collapsing. The world's heroes literally standing. Look at this. What I love about this is he's on a mountain of zombies. He's built a, man a mountain. This is literal Mount Olympus, but it's Mount Zombolymp... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Zumbalimpus. Oh! <gasps> no! Keanu Reeves, where are you? Is he dead? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, humanity doesn't stand a chance against such reckless hate. Chunk Norris, are you still going? It sure looks like it. Yeah, I guess you can't really get close and do damage on him. He might be Zeus's dad. The Brits are doing their best. Tesla is still holding the line. I love, though, how you can, like, literally see the topography of a mountain of zombies from Action Man. But humanity has fallen. The Redcoats have fought their hardest. This ancient Greek city is under siege. The only thing defending it is 300 brave Spartans. This is where we hold them! Attacking it, 1,000 zombies. 10,000 zombies? 100,000 zombies. I'm curious what a million's gonna look like, and we'll show that a little bit later in the video. 
But first, we've got to see how 300 Spartans stacks up against 1,000 zombies, all charging in. Oh God, uh, Moses was here. This riverbed is dry, so it's opening up a few extra attack points that the zombies are going to be able to use against the Spartans. First zombie makes it to the hoplite shield wall, and uh, it doesn't go very well for him. Look at this. As the zombies spill in on um, both the main bridge and the land bridge. This is a pre-alpha version of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Oh my gosh. The Spartans are holding their line, but they might just need more than 300 to hold against this zombie swarm. There's even RTS mode, which is a new mode. So if I get these guys, could I strengthen the flank over there? Oh my gosh, I can. This is amazing. Strengthen the flank. Don't let them surround us. Obviously, I'm fighting for the army of the living. Oh, this is amazing. Some of these zombies, as they die, get spilled over. Oh no, those are hoplites. Needless to say, 300 versus 1,000. I thought that they would be better. This is a game changer though. This was not available in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 1. If you look in the upper right, it does not bode very well. The Spartans have lost over two thirds of their numbers. The zombies outnumber them about three to four to one. And hoplite shield walls are only as good when they're organized. But once the enemy starts to surround them, they will quickly and most certainly be destroyed. Maybe, maybe the Spartans need a narrow choke point to hold because there's only a few left. The zombies had 146 out of a thousand. So what we need to do is reposition this force to the hot gates, quite literally here. But giving up this bridge would allow the zombies to move in, hitting these houses and converting them to zombies. So their numbers would most definitely go up. So the zombie horde has grown to 10,000, but way up this earthen ramp, at the hot gates, the 300 Spartans await, but they are now supported by militia from inside the town and quite a few archers that should be able to fire over the infantry. Who planted these palm trees there? We should chop them down and use them as a barrier because, well, the zombies are coming. Look at this horde. What can men do against such reckless hate? These are unthinking, undead automatons. Maybe some necromancer. Maybe Hades himself has cursed this walled city. The first zombies have made it to the line. Oh God. The arrows are starting to fire though, so that should be able to help. Look at this. But are the archers ideally situated? Is this enough to hold? against 10,000 zombies? There are only 900 supporting Greeks and their numbers are already down to almost 800. The Spartans on the front lines are being surrounded. I think what we need to do here is move in the Persians. Reserves to the front, fill in these lines and hold. Most of you, honestly, all of you are probably gonna die, but you have to defend the city. Oh, look at how many arrows are being fired now. Is it enough though? I don't think so. Only 500 zombies have been killed and 200 Greek defenders have already perished. This is not going too well. The Greeks have almost lost half. The zombies have only lost about one tenth of their attacking force. And it makes you curious if maybe this defensive formation could be better done. Maybe the better choke point is actually right here at the top of this ramp. Would that allow the archers to fire more and sooner? Because we are literally creating rivers of strawberry jam that are going all the way down. Oh man, we're gonna get the plague. We are going to get the plague. So what if the Spartans and Greeks had decided a different approach? But 100,000 zombies is coming. What we need to do is maneuver this shield wall right at this choke point. The Greek militia, AKA the Persians, <laughs> right behind them. Archers, your numbers need to be effectively tripled maybe. 
Zombies going up to 100,000. Wow, 100,000 zombies all gonna be marching up this hill. However, there is something new. The Greeks have decided to employ artillery, siege equipment, these 10 precious catapults. Is it enough? Probably not, because here come the zombies. But depending on their range and when they're able to fire, they might be able to help delay so that the city can be evacuated. 900 archers does seem a little bit pathetic in comparison to 100,000 zombies. Do we even have that many arrows? Archers, you may fire when ready. The zombies are starting to lose numbers. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely nuts. The catapults are firing. Only a few of them though. Maybe their firing arc is affected. The front line of hoplites is barely holding on. I think what we need to do is Oh man, there might be some friendly fire by these catapults. They might be the difference maker, but they might actually do more harm than good. Wait a minute, what are the zombies doing? Oh my goodness! Uh, they found the goat path up to the back. This, this is not good. The catapults are barely holding on, their fire rate is too slow, and they're being literally chopped down by fleshy arm bits. Wow. Look at the ragdolls as the zombies tumble down the cliffs. Oh my god, they're coming from the city! Oh, when you have this many zombies, I guess they're gonna find whatever way in they can. This part of the city was left unguarded. All of its defenders went to the single choke point. The tales of the Spartans at Thermopylae may have given them a strategy that was just not good enough or poorly thought out. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 is pretty incredible. There's already a lot of new features available, but as this army gets absolutely crushed, look at these numbers just dropping. The zombies have only lost maybe just under 6,000 and look at how many they have. I do wanna see what 1 million zombies looks like. We're gonna have to find a big open field in order to do this is going to be massive. How many Spartans against a million? Uh, we need at least 100,000. Will my computer explode? Stay tuned. 100,000 Persians supported by the archers. They're gonna have 50,000. And catapults will put you right here in the middle. 1,000. Is it enough? Probably not. These zombies are very strong. Luckily, there is a character editor in this game. 1 million. That might be the numerical limit to this game right now. Look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen a million zombies before? Hello there. You can even get down on this individual level. Oh my gosh. They have man and female versions. It looked like we have to take everything down by a zero because we only were able to fit 323,000 entities. Now this is more like it. 100,000 zombies pouring across. Now they're going to have to find their way around this oasis. And man, there are a lot of archers. I think I was off by a zero on the defending armies. Uh, the defending melee infantry. Yeah, maybe uh, off by a decimal point or two. 100,000 versus 71,000 in UEBS2. Now this is an early access build and there are a lot of other units. So if you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on the like button let me know. And then let me know what kind of battles you'd like to see. There are World War II factions evil factions of which the zombies are a part medieval roman oh man the catapults are decimating that is a strong fire rate wait are these archers oh the archers are firing look at how many projectiles are in the air right now insane tens hundreds of thousands definitely tens of thousands because that is what man needs against the zombie apocalypse is a force multiplier ranged weaponry so that you don't get bit they all just look like minuscule little ants now as this is an early access build there's certain little things like the arrows of the rts mode staying up what is going on with these catapults down here there's a few zombies getting a little bit close maybe if we could scramble just a few archers archers we need you over here to ensure that these catapults stay operational but that's really cool though, to be able 
to command units in the heat of battle like an RTS, but in a battle simulator. Definitely changing the game. Oh yeah. When these sort of numbers are used, look at this. The, the humans, the live ones anyway, outnumber the zombies for the first time in an age. Oh, oh, oh. look at this. It's like a tornado of zombie bodies. Now, is there a friendly fire going on? I can't really tell. These Persians are really confused as to the absolute chaos that is this battle. Where did all the catapults get all of the stones that they need? Who knows? Let's just be thankful that they have them. Oh my gosh. The fields. The fields of the literal dead, because they're undead, but now they're definitely dead. Less than 20,000 zombies are left. I'm going to be showing the current units and maps that are available right after this battle. So stick around and let me know what we should do next. Yeah, the archers finally got there and they are no longer needed. Everybody, pivot. Yeah, needless to say, the side with the catapults crushed the attacking zombie side. And the Spartans are doing their thing to hold their lines very well, supported by concentrated arrow fire. Man will not go silently into the night, right? Look at this. It looks like some weird eyebrows here. <laughs> Move, archers! Let's see how this works out. Oh my goodness. Actually, let's move like right there. So they should be able to fire on the flank of the zombies and keep them from rolling the Spartans' flank. There's a few zombies spilling out from the oasis, but in the handfuls now. Their numbers are less than 3,000. And to think we lost the great Greek fortified city to the zombie apocalypse before we could muster an army of this size. I guess we could like draw what we want, right? Wait a minute. What is it that the Greek forces are doing? Are they saying they're happy about the results of this battle? As the zombie numbers are now below 1,000? It sure appears like it as we see a smiley face on the battlefield. This is amazing. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. There are only five zombies left. Team 2 didn't have any zombies, but it's saying they won. This is definitely early access. All right, guys, the day is finally here. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So I've been following this game ever since I saw some penguins and Santa Clauses fight to the death quite a few months ago, but that was back when it was called Epic Battle Simulator, and now it has gone through a name change, but hey, let's let's see what Start Game's all about. Oh my goodness. Map, World of Thieves. All right, so we've got one map so far. Now, this is just kind of like the early, this is the first playable build that the developer has shared with anybody. So it looks like we do have the central castle, and oh, we can zoom in, and left-clicking kind of drags around. So like, this was the castle siege. I wish... I wonder if you could like rotate that would be pretty nice so weather we've got random clear cloudy and rain we can change the time of day i wonder if, if battles last a long time if you'll see a day and night all right so we've got medieval heroes world war ii i know you guys are already thinking about the custom battle suggestions leave them in the comments uh medieval heroes world war ii evil ancient greece fantasy and animals Oh my gosh, like where where do we begin? What's we can we we can add heavy knights for medieval. Heroes have golden knights. World War II, we've got US soldier. Evil, we've got zombie. Oh my god, the zombies. We've got ancient Greece, we've got the Romans for ancient Greece. <laughs> uh, fantasy, we've got orcs. And then we've got animals as chickens. So a mount. We can make let's see. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Let's see. The first we're gonna have the Romans, and I want two hundred and fifty thousand. No, we're gonna have a thousand. Screw it. Three thousand rank shape attack. Now where do I put them? Attack now. Oh, oh! Look at this. Now can I rotate that by any chance? All right, so actually, I want them to hold their position. Can I put them in this cap? I, I, I feel like we're going to change that to hold position. All right. Unit customize? Oh, my God. We can customize the units? Unit name? 
Baronius. So we've got a lot. All right, so let's see. Unit customization. Uh, load selected. We don't have any saved yet. So we've got, oh, chicken wild, man. Wait a minute. Now we've got other units? Catapults? What's going on? Archers. Footmen. A giant oak. Wow. Giant ogre, which we've seen before. Heavy knights. The heavy knights look great. Let's see. Orcs. Oh, those guys definitely look like Urukai from Lord of the Rings. Penguins. Spartans. Oh, yes. We can do... Oh, my gosh. Romans. U.S. soldiers. And zombies. You know what? I think what we got to do... I'm, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go back. Oh. Let's... How do I get rid of that? Delete. Zero. There we go. Rank shape. What is this rank shape even about? Wow, this map is bigger than I thought. Well, I guess we zoomed in, right? So, what I'm gonna do is let's make them none. So now they don't exist. So it kind of resets. I want ancient Greece is just the Romans. Let's go to unit customization. I would like to get Spartans here. So you have to keep in mind this is the first time attack damage of 120 attack speed multiplier move speed multiplier we're gonna keep them stock 250 120 um, we're gonna save them as Spartans how original <laughs> save a unit alright now battle now I think these are actually Spartans even though it considers them Romans I'm not sure we're gonna find out but we gonna find out right so now let's see where do we want to put them let's put them here yeah like we don't have the Thermopylae map actually maybe we'll just put them on this giant hilltop right okay now we're gonna get some zombies zombies uh, they would be under evil I'm fairly certain we're gonna give them ten thousand zombies and we're gonna have 300 Spartans obviously tis the only way now if I put them here I think that there's a way to customize the controls prior to launching it but I got so excited in this world of thieves when you know what we're gonna make it 9 a.m. because why not let's start the battle it is oh we got a loading screen look at that Romans versus an insane amount of zombies now will these Spartans prevail I want you guys to kind of make a bet Oh, hello. Alright, so here... Our FPS is around 60. Now, press K to start the battle. Okay, so they are facing the wrong way. We just need to learn the controls right quick, like... To uh, rotate them. Which I probably will do. Oh man, the sound effects. It's like... Very nice. I love the wind. Oh, it's a giant hill in the middle. And these are Romans. I thought we made them Spartans. Maybe we need to incorporate custom. Let's just start this battle, our first battle. They're holding position now. And the zombies should be charging. Oh, I have possessed this zombie. Now I'm going to right click to unclick him. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do, guys. This is the first person. All right, I'm going to be a red shielded Roman. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Yo, get out of the way. Look at that. This is what 10,000 zombies looks like. Now, frames, or is it because I'm directly controlling? But my frames have dropped uh, right now. And this is on my new computer. This is actually, aside from a few War Thunder videos, this is the first game I've played. Oh, God. For honor and glory, dude, you about to get wrecked, friend. Look at him. He's like, oh, shit. A billion zombies is coming my way, lords. Now, how do we how do we attack? Oh, <laughs> this is going to be an absolute massacre. All right, so... Look at these poor bastards. These guys are not going to have a good time, I don't think. <laughs> Oh, we got to learn a little bit about the controls real quick, but the first battle <laughs> looks like it will be a zombie massacre. Because I think, I don't even know if that guy killed any of the zombies. 
Maybe, and we should have them fight. I don't know if we need any hold position shenanigans from now on. Oh, you know, we did kill one of the zombies. We killed... No, 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 we did not. No, we did not. All right, so look at the top left. You can see enemies killed zero for the Romans and one for the zombies. I wonder what their health is. Actually, these guys are doing okay. The Romans are holding their lines, but they're... Uh, look at this. These zombies are literally coming over the hill... And, oh, they're going to envelop these Romans. But the Roman shield wall, the shields are definitely helping out. That's definitely, oh, no, this this guy's killing, this one zombie right here has killed, like, two guys. Make that, like, three. So, zombies have killed 76. Romans have only killed about, like, 40. But the numbers are just rising. So, these Romans are getting overwhelmed in our first, albeit, kind of tame battle. But when, when you're not directly controlling, the frames are a lot better, I've noticed. Now, if we get close, actually, the frames are just as good. The time is 12 a.m., and the Romans are getting overwhelmed. I feel like I want to do some Romans versus Spartans. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see if we can't... Follow me! Come on, zombies! We're going on an adventure! I'm going to save my friends! Or ho hope to. See? Look at that. Ah, what's up, boys? You, you guys are idiots. These zombies. These zombies don't even know what they're doing. Maybe I can march them off a cliff. That would be... See, that's the real... Oh, oh, my God. We've attracted some attention. Now, I just... God smile on us, this day. God smile on us? Dude, you're about to jump off a cliff, friend. Doesn't look enjoyable. Now, we're going to see if we can't... Get them to come with us. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Aw. Wait, wait, wait. Are they, are they going to go? No. It looks like these guys are just kind of hanging out and maybe a little confused. Let's see how the regular Romans are doing. There are zero left. Zombies are victorious, guys. So, exit to menu. And uh, the first battle was quite an adventure, uh, not for the Romans. Now, we're going to start game again, so we're going to get put in this. And I think we just reset everybody to see. Oh, yeah, we can do none, which would be the best way to do it. Now, team one, I would I really want to... Is there no... Oh, there is custom. Here we go. Spartans. Let's do... Hey, you know what? Let's actually unit customize. We'll load our Spartans. Load selected, please. Let's make their health, I don't know, a 500. If the average unit is 250 and attack damage, we're going to make it 150. And we're going to save that. Now we're going to customize. Let's go ahead and see what the Romans are looking at. Footman? Oh, no. A chicken. A wild man. Oh, my God. These guys are brutes. Brutes. Now, do we want to have... Zombies? Yeah. Alright, so 160 health. We're gonna turn that to 100. And 50 damage. Oh, maybe... Yeah, we'll save them as... Z zombies. You know. Yeah. Cause hey. Alright, I really like the unit customization. That's, that is definitely... Ooh, archers. I'm gonna add... I wish I could... I wanna add some... Let's see with these guys. How is their damage only 25? Speed, attack speed? Feels like a hundred. <laughs> oh, private Matt, Matt Damon. We got Matt Damon up in here, and he's got, he's got a hundred speed multiplier. I don't know what that's. Oh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I know what we're doing. Now we're going to start the game, and custom Spartans three hundred. We're gonna put them... Should we do this hill again? Yeah, we want them on this hill. And hold position. Yeah, we're gonna keep you hold. We're gonna keep you two. I'm gonna be custom Matt Damon. And we're gonna have one Matt Damon. We're gonna have one Matt Damon! And then we're gonna fight all the zombies. We gotta make we gotta make him team one so my, we don't kill each other. Um, and I, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Actually, I'm gonna hold position with him so that I can manually select him. 
Then we're gonna do zombies. We're gonna do zombies. And we're gonna have, oh, a good 10,000. And you know what, let's put Matt Damon over here. Now, how does one rotate? X, Z, Y. Oh, wait. I got it. Wait. I rotated a little bit. Oh, okay. Right click and dragging around in the circle, which... Yes. All right. Now we left click to move them up a little bit. And let's start this battle. And you know what? We're going to make this one dusk. Uh, dusk would be what? 7 p.m. maybe? Depending on daylight savings. What a crazy invention daylight savings is. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, gather around. For when the Spartans were up against... Oh my god, the greatest, the greatest horde of zombies the world has ever known. They did raise forth an army of 300 brave warriors. And, Matt Damon. So, we're going to start the battle, we're gonna, we're gonna possess this guy. Hold the line, spot. I mean, hold the line, Spartans. You don't even know what I'm doing. You don't even know what I'm, can I? Oh yeah, get wrecked, Spartans. Prepare for glory! Brace yourselves! They're flanking us! I mean, they're flanking you guys. I'll do, I'll do the best to like run away and survive. I'm gonna carve out this left flank. Oh my god, there's so many. I should have had more Matt Damons, but look at this. Attack value of 100. Well, don't look at me. Don't even look at me, Zambies. Alright, I'm gonna put him back here and I just want what do you do okay he's like he looks like he's shooting at his friends but he's not so this is Matt Damon and 300 Spartans versus the zombie horde guys now all right technical issue I accidentally alt Z'd and it opened up something I've never seen before but I need to find the control look at these Spartans are killing it all right so the zombies have only killed one 300 Spartans versus 10,000 zombies is ridiculous. Should we try 100,000 zombies and a few more Matt Damons? You know what? Let's call it. We know who's going to win this one. Spartans prepare for glory. Spartans prepare for glory. And you know, we're just going to add a quick zero real quick. A quick zero real quick. No, definitely not redundant. Oh my god. We're going to need a different field of battle to uh, operate this in. Uh, I don't know where we should do it. And we're gonna right click to rotate. Where should we? This is like the battle of the century, right? I wonder if we put them in the water, if that'll work. Dude, 100,000 zombies? Is this even a good idea? Now let's zoom in to make sure that these Spartans are at the key. Oh my god, that's just not nearly enough to hold 300,000 off. Maybe if we put them here. At this pass? Or we could put them... Yeah, we're gonna put them there. Screw it. Alright, so Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon! Matt Damon. Is going to... Oh, you know what we need is some Thebians, you know? Weren't they there too? Oh wait, this is the Spartans. Oh, I'm, I don't mind me, you guys. Don't mind me. So, one Matt Damon's gonna hold there. We're gonna add another Matt Damon. Custom. Matt Damon. Dude, I mean, it's gonna happen every time. Just, you know, accept it. And, uh, where's, where's that guy? Oh, Matt Damon is, uh, the other Matt Damon. <laughs> Why is this so funny? Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Matt Damon is fighting with the Spartans. Um, and I'm going to be a Matt Damon. 100,000 zombies. Let's do another unit customization. I want to see if we can't... Oh, maybe some archers would be good. Yeah, some Spartan archers. Um, 
archers. You know what I mean? Just, you know, really original name. Attack damage of 33. We're going to give us the Spartans back, so let's go back to the battle. Um, let's go with custom. Then we go down here to the arches. And let's see. We want them team one, or else they'll just kill all of our dudes. Now, where did they spawn in? Oh, I don't want... Do I want... They're purple, right? Do you see them anywhere? I don't. Aha! They're under. Okay. So that's another thing. I'm not sure, like, what dictates where they spawn. And I don't want 250 of them. I want, like, 100 of them. Yeah. That seems good. Okay. Well, 100,000 zombies. I don't even know if this is a good idea. Can my com Can the new computer handle it? We're gonna find out. Now, what I would love to see in the future with this game is like, imagine, so those Romans, yeah, we're, we're, oh. when we look at the zombies, what, oh my gosh, 100,000 is, just looking at these zombies, frames are six. Now, there's also the water to deal with. Yeah, we've got six frames a second, guys. We might not be able to do 100,000 zombies. Maybe... But here's the Spartans that are going to hold the high ground. We've got some archer support. And then we've got two Matt Damons that would... You know what? We're going to start the battle anyway. If I don't look at them, they don't exist, right? And you know what? Matt Damon number one. Yeah, this is Matt Damon. America! Oh my god. Look at this. One frame per second. Can we even fire? Oh god. This, this might not work, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna advance on them backwards. So we're not gonna look, so we hold six frames. Oh, I set the archers on attack! America! Matt Damon, coming to Matt, Matt Damon. And you know what? I'm just gonna have a good time. We're saving Private Matt Damon right here. Oh, maybe that could be like, we could create scenarios. I don't even know what I'm doing. You definitely don't. You're about to die to 100,000 zombies. Guys, I don't know if we can run this. All right, so we, we've met the limits. But I, we're going to release some shot. He's shooting. All right. Maybe maybe if I don't... Oh, when, I, when I'm not direct controlling, we're at five frames. And they got to keep in mind, this is like over 100,000 units in a battle right now. Mostly cloudy with some sun. So what I'm going to learn for the next one is how to hide the HUD. Look at this, dude. This is hilarious. All right, well, let's let's uh, let's edit the zombies to like something. Oh, and you can by pressing escape. There was a speed, so that's good to know. All right, well, a hundred thousand. Let's go with uh, twenty-five thousand, and we're gonna put them a little bit closer so the action starts right away. Hopefully, um, some of them are gonna be on these hills, but it's gonna be fun. And let's just start. Let's do it. So 25,000 zombies, hopefully more manageable than 100,000. Now, I really wonder what computer the developer's rocking. It's got to be like the beastiest of the beasts. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There's one thing I forgot to do. These guys on Matt Damon needs to be on hold position. Archers need to be on hold position. Zombies are on attack. Let's do it. 300 Spartans versus 100,000 zombies. Pretty, I mean, well, now it's less. Because, oh, God. Their, their zombies will blot out the sun. All right. Arrows! Look at it. The arrows are already firing, and they're firing indiscriminately. They don't just target, like, the close units. It's kind of like they're not trying to pinpoint them. Look at this. How many enemies have been killed so far? None. Even with the Thompson going? Are these zombies or zombies? Did some of the zombies die from like falling off cliffs? Makes you wonder. Okay, maybe... Is he just missing? Okay, so they're lining up single file for him. Dude, you better... Who are you shooting at? Retreat! Retreat, they're coming! The zombie spread. 
It's like a virus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. How did that happen? They're popping up in random places. That doesn't even make sense to me. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So as we, as you guys should be aware, or if you're not, well, welcome to being aware, that you can customize units. So what we're going to be trying to do here today, the challenge is to present... A game where it's like right click to necromance, but in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So, I've got some chickens, I've got one zombie. Now the cool thing about zombies is they actually have an infection rate. They can convert other things into zombies. So what we're going to see is we've got some tortoises, we got some chickens here, and then we've got a city full of just free for all. We've got people coming in from all sides, we got it looks like the Romans over here. We've got 2,000 penguins. That's going to be tough. Um, we've got, where are they at? We've got some footmen here holding the ground in the center. We've even got a boss. Where is he at? The Golden Knight. And then we have some more invading footmen here. So we've got eight different factions. And what my goal is, is to go from one zombie to only zombies i need to be the victor here all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to take control of this zombie and walk him up and see if i can't infect these chickens and then convert them all to zombies and then these tortoises are coming this way so we do have to be mindful of that so let's see if we can't convert the chickens right click to necromance and chickens Oh, yes! Look at that! They're all mine! And now the tortoises are coming, so we have to finish off these guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, they're all mine. Now, the cool thing about this is, you, there actually is a command menu. So, let's go press V for command. On me! On me. Gentlemen. Well, let's rally. I know rally works. Rally! Fight the Tortai! So, I need to send my foot soldiers to attack. Let's see, let's go with... Attack that target! Alright, let's see how strong tortoises are, or if my zombies will die. I think we outnumber them, hopefully. This is gonna be tough, actually. Actually, a lot of zombies are dying. I don't, I'm not even familiar with the health of a tortoise. Let's see, zombies are dropping in number. We've killed the 200 chickens, but these tortoises are strong. So we may have met our match. You know what's dumb is these guys aren't attacking really. So let's go with attack target. Or right, let's try carry on. Okay, maybe that'll help. Oh my god, we're getting surrounded by the tortoises. And we're not killing them. And look, we've actually... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna rally these guys, because... These guys are not... Oh, I can't control the fake zombies, only the real ones. Wait. So where is the real one? I can control this guy. Are we converting any of these tortoises? Hmm. All right, so what we did was we switched tortoises to penguins. We got to see how this works. We're going to start. We're going to get our necromancer, our first zombie, to spread the infection. And therefore, hopefully, we're going to be able to take over the world. But there's a lot of strong units out there, actually, now that you think about it. Yeah. All right. So I think, I'm not sure if they're, oh my god, these guys are fast. Look how fast the freaking penguins are. Guys, we're going to need a rally soon because the penguins are coming. But I love the infection when doing it on chickens because they all convert. All right. Rally! Oh, yes. These are mine now. These penguins are mine. Look, all the penguins are coming. So we're at 214. Make that 220. All right. Let's see you silly penguins. Look at that. You are no match for the zombies. Oh my god. When I'm controlling all of these guys, oh, I gotta get out. I gotta get out before I get locked in by my zombie brethren. So that I can lead this horde. 
Come on, guys. Continue to kill the penguins. This is beautiful. Look at this zombie army. We started out with one, and now we're going to be close to 400. Oh. Oh, we're at 399. All right. Rally. Come on, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, we're not even at normal speed. We definitely... I didn't even know... I didn't... Wait, see, look. How do I... I'm going to tell them to hold your ground so that I can get these guys up here. These guys are not following me. And I think we need everybody. What is that green blob on the ground? Is that a dead zombie? What is that? Yeah, it looks like some dead zombies. Okay. Rally. Yeah, and look. These guys even. V1. To rally. And the soldiers go, whoo! Alright, now let's go with, uh... On me. Oh my god. Everybody's on me. Okay. I think we've got pretty much everybody. So, now we're gonna venture into the city. We've gotta wind our way through a maze. You can see some of my... My minions. My zombie minions. Are just, you know, let's see. Can we... Will this affect us? It doesn't seem to be. Look at that. That's that's obnoxious. What? You can't untoggle it. I don't know. Alright, well, get out of my way, fools. It'd be cool to have a necromancer, though. A necromancer unit must come in to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I think we've got an interesting idea here. And I love how the infection spreads. But look at this. Let's go ahead and just turn... Cinematography off. Oh, wait. Man. I guess when you do that, you can't control a guy. Which is unfortunate. Because it's pretty cool to see. Alright. Rally! Some of the zombies are just doing their own thing. But they're on my side, so... They're basically, you know, like my ambassadors to the free peoples of the world. They will go out, and they will kill. But I'm, I'm worried about finding the Gold Knight. I'm worried about what's in the center of the square. I've actually never seen the city from ground level before. Like an, on an individual soldier. Rally! We'll have a few that are just kind of wandering the streets alone. You wouldn't want to be wandering the streets and, and seeing a zombie. I think there should be some footmen here. On the right side of this castle. They might be fighting... They may have gotten in a fight with the Gold Knight. Oh my gosh. We've got Romans versus Medieval Footmen right here. So now we have to convert them. It'd be really... If it was necromancy... Alright, where's my army? Here's my army. Come on, guys. I wish I could have them, like... On me! I want, I want to have them kind of, like, mass up before they attack. Because they're just going to get cut down, I fear. Look, they're not even attacking yet. Let's go with carry on. That should allow them to fight. Okay, now they're fighting. Here, we're going to go back and grab these guys. See, that's the thing about, like, right-click the necromance is you've got to, like, grab the army and bring them up. These guys are just kind of hanging out. Now let's get Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon, you are needed near the front. Fuck! Good job. Laying down suppressive fire, Matt. That maiming. And we are going. We're going to the front. Hey guys, when you subscribe to this channel, do me a favor, join Baron's Brigade. Make sure to hit the bell and then click send me all notifications for this channel and then click save so that you can be the first to see the videos whenever they're launched. Alright everybody, welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So today we're going to pick off... Where we left off in the last episode, we just started messing around with Spartans versus Zombies. So what we're going to be doing today is finishing that up. Now, we couldn't get 100,000 Zombies, but we could get 25,000. So we're going to see them fight, and we also got Matt Damon, the World War II soldier, basically saving Private Ryan in here to help the Spartans and a couple archers to fight against 25,000 Zombies. Let's jump into the action. And everybody... 
Baron's Brigade, where are you at? I would love to see some suggestions on custom battles, custom units, in the comments below so that we can put them in the next episode. Let's get into the action. So 25,000 zombies, hopefully more manageable than 100,000. Now, I really wonder what computer the developer's rocking. It's gotta be, like, the beastiest of the beasts. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. There's one thing I forgot to do. And that's put... That's put these guys on... Matt Damon needs to be on hold position. Archers need to be on hold position. Zombies are on attack. Let's do it. Now that we're, now that we're gonna see Matt Damon's in battle, 300 Spartans versus 100,000 zombies. Pretty, I mean, well, now it's less. Cause, oh God. Their, their zombies will blot out the sun. All right, arrows. Look at it, the arrows are already firing and they're firing indiscriminately. They don't just target like the close units. It's kind of like, they're not trying to pinpoint them. Look at this, how many enemies have been killed so far? None. Even with the Thompson going? Are these zombies or zombies? Did some of the zombies die from like falling off cliffs? Makes you wonder. Okay, maybe, is he just missing? Okay, so they're lining up single file for him. Dude, you better... Who are you shooting at? Retreat! Retreat, they're coming! Alright, I gotta take direct control because by himself he's an idiot. Oh no! Sprint! Run behind the Spartans! All right, we're mowing them down. The zombies are coming. Oh no, they're over here too. They're, they're flanking. We're we're getting no okay frames. Not amazing frames, but America, hundred thousand zombies. Oh god, that's bad. Oh, they look at this. Oh no, the other Matt Damon is dead already. We're gonna hold this high ground. Maybe this would definitely be the spot. Imagine Barrett 50 calibers, like sniper rifles, M2 50 cal machine guns, attack choppers, landmines, T-34 tanks, dude. Imagination going crazy. Alright, we're gonna put him over here. He's gonna be shooting them in the back now since he doesn't have any ammunition. We've, we've only lost one guy, and it was that Matt Damon. So we're gonna we're gonna let him do his thing. Oh no! Watch out, dude! You gotta you gotta focus. All right, I think I think the way to keep this guy alive would be to put him here. All right, so it's nighttime, and. The Spartans, so now if we press escape, time scale. We're not even at normal time scale? Interesting. All right, so this is technically, oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to control you, sir. Do we want to break formation with one of the Spartans in the rear? And move a few over here to kind of cover this? Or would that just make them weaker? Look at these arrows. So the archers need to get better. It'd be cool if you could take control of one guy and then, like, command the other guys, kind of like Formata. wonder how many arrows it takes. We should make arrows kill, like... Well, actually, no, you gotta hit them in the heads, right? So this guy's here. Look at this, the lone archer. Everybody else is just, like, herp in the dirt. Oh, no, they're building a mountain of zombies right now! They're gonna, they're gonna jump on top of the Spartans. I gotta see this, like, in speedy motion right now. So we're gonna go to two times speed. And just watch this. Because there have been no... I want to be able to go ten times speed, but maybe the game just, like, couldn't keep up with it right yet. Or maybe that'll be a function in the future. Dude, yeah, because eventually there's just gonna be walls of zombies. Man just absolutely glorious 
And being able to change the time in the middle. Press P to toggle. Oh, cool. Cinematic mode is on. Okay, so that's how you hide the HUD. Zombies. Zombies. I love it. Guys, our battles in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator will be truly a great, great thing. They really, really will. Like, look at this. We got some archers now. Are they still firing down or are they kind of picking these guys? If they pick them out, like, as they get up here. Oh, my God. But there's just way too many zombies. And these archers are not firing yet. Like, look at this. My God. And shift makes you scroll or move around faster, which I do like. Yeah, so let's go back to cinematic mode off. Or on, rather. There's been one guy killed. I don't think any of the Spartans have even died yet. Because I don't, I don't think they're getting any hits in. So as a result, the Spartans are just wrecking house. Cinematic mode. This is just nuts. Spartans are like rock climbing. But instead of rocks, the zombie baddies. Yeah, look. The zombies never get a hit in because the Spartans are so powerful. Makes you wonder what will happen. You know what? What would happen when there's just so many of them? Like, how tall can this get? They just built, it's a human, it's a zombie pyramid. A pyramid of the undead. Of the undead. It's raining now. Spartans prepare for glory. Now, let's see this fort real quick because we gotta learn how to use it. Alright, so there's two doors in and then this giant one. And here's like what the castle, right? Ooh! Imagine if you could have put one archer there as like a sniper. Make him. We should make Robin Hood, where he does like 500 damage. There's so many things we could do just by unit customization. All right, I think it's time again. So we're gonna take that off, and we're gonna get over here on the flank. Yo, what's up, Zams? I think I could just shoot here and make like a wall of. Oh, never mind. This attack speed of 100 is amazing. And he never has to reload. <laughs> if these guys had to reload, they'd definitely be. Well, the Spartans would be fine. But the archers and the Matt Damons of the world here. You know, saving Private Matt Damon. It'd be, it'd be difficult for them to survive. For America. All right, let's retreat. Actually, let's climb this wall. Let's get up on top. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. This happens. You keep coming. Oh, my God. This is... Oh, we got hit. Run. We're already down to 50% health. One zombie hit. All right, let's... Now I'm gonna I'm gonna snipe from the side. And, like you could you could do all kinds of things. I wonder why they're red. I'm just gonna chop down this row the best we can. Man. <laughs> all right, let's survey the battlefield here. As the Spartans prepare. Man. There's been five casualties, but we've only killed 2,000. So we've killed 700 freedoms, per 700 freedoms per minute. Whoa, dude, you want some freedom? These guys look like they want some freedom. But soon, I fear that Matt Damon might die. Matt Damon's all like, where's where's Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise wasn't in, same cry Ryan. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm thinking of, man, who's the guy? America, Tom Hanks. That's who I'm thinking about. Not Tom Cruise, but Tom Hanks. Tom Tom Cruise or Tom Hanks is dead. 
Isn't that, isn't that the way it is? Yeah, I think the Spartans might actually win this one. But we need it. We need to speed it up. Let's let's. I want I want much faster speed, because for oh god, that one zombie could have killed Matt Damon, because Matt Damon was in the menus. Can I can I run through these guys? Well, kind of. It, you definitely get stopped. And this guy's just covered in water and maybe piss, and these guys are still doing nothing. Alright, if we leave you there, I think you'll be fine. I'm gonna try to move up more archers. We're moving them up! More archers! On the flanks! We need archers on the flanks! Yeah, I need a command to call, like, the squad. You could have them follow you. And then we'll put these guys on the ledges over here. You know, spread out the archers. Get that damage done early. We'll leave him. Now he'll do a little more damage. His attack speed isn't very high. And he doesn't even one-shot a zombie. We need to fix that. We need to customize them. But in mass, they should, in theory, work a lot better. So that's what we're going to do is move a lot of these guys to the edges here and you know that should do something it'd be cool if you could save it and alternate like their positions as you go obviously this is stuff like I'm imagining like as we realized we kinda didn't oh and it's already daytime this is perfect hell yeah I was hoping to get some daytime so we could see some epic shots of just this zombie tower here Oh my god, and everybody's covered with water and these shadows. Look at this. The zombie bodies. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. It really is. This is the grand battles. Alright, dude, get on the front lines. And by the front lines, I mean these, these cliffs here. Imagine if that other Matt Damon hadn't died right away. They're at 4,000, so we're only at like 20% almost casualties we gotta we gotta accelerate that by putting these archers on yeah how is there can I can I select control shift right clicking is really the only thing right now now what if I put you here oh we missed shot that guy in the knee yeah the Spartans killed him in one hit so it's almost like whatever Oh, that zombie like fell. They they're kind of like falling here. <laughs> there we go. That they hit somebody in the stomach. Oh, that guy like shot to the left. Spartans, just hold your positions, boys. They've only killed 13 and we've killed 5,000, so the ratio is in our favor. Plus, we're moving to be more effective and accelerate. The execution of the, that guy's even shooting the ground right here. Oh, early development. You gotta love it, dude. This is the kind of stuff that I think's fun that game developers are doing nowadays. We're like, they're basically creating a build and having, you know, the player base work through the kinks, kind of help them out, which is really fun when, like, game development and the players kind of work together. And I think that's what's happening here, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, keep firing. Just keep firing, boys. The archers need to be able to program to fire arc shots. Alright. So here it is. The zombie horde. Attacking. Oh my god, this this Spartan position in this the Spartans are building walls out of zombies. The bravest warriors are on the peak. A few have fallen in battle. You can see them. No, that's just blood. Oh my god, can we go through this? No, you can't. That is a mess. Oh, wait, did that Spartan fall backwards? See, this is the part I'm worried about, is when the Spartans start getting pushed back, and the zombies just start dropping on top of them. That will eventually happen. When you have this many zombies, it's gonna happen. Alright. Let's go ahead. 
try to get the shot of the century. Beautiful zombie hordes. It's just it's just so massive. <laughs> it's just it is insane, really. How many zombies did we put in this game? It's nuts. But you gotta love it. This bat me Alright, we're gonna go back. 6,000 zombie kills. Now, 10% of the Spartans have been killed. But is this going to be like a steamrolling thing? Look at this. Are actually some of them under the bodies? Some of them are trapped under the bodies. I don't know what that means is going to happen. Now, 30 Spartans dead. Alright, let's take control of one of these guys. Oh my god, this guy's a beast! You're about to die with honor. But as long as you kill, oh, I don't know, a hundred of them? Oh, he died. The one brave soldier. Oh, wait a minute. Did we actually... We attracted zombies over here. But I think that actually helped us. Theocles! Lead them away from us as long as you can. I will do my best. I will do it for Sparta. Oh god. There's no escape. There's no escape. I will help you. Boagrius. Help Theocles. He's about to get attacked. Uh, Agamemnon. Get up in there. Protect their rear. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're trying to get more Spartans in the battle, so the kills start racking up faster. We're, we're gonna create a little outpost of Spartans. And then let's see what else we can do here. Yeah, dude, this is definitely gonna work. All right, we're gonna put some guys here. Uh, I'm running out of Greek names. Let's go with Paris of Troy. That's Paris of Troy, even though he's a Spartan. Oh man, this is actually attracting a lot of them. All right, we're gonna get we gotta get these guys here. Protect your brothers. Protect your brothers. Mini shield wall. Oh, and you two are kind of on your own right now. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna build our own shield wall. Now, like I said, all I need is the ability to move a couple at a time, like a little maybe dragon move. Dragon, not drag and, it's not a dragon. Well, dragons would be cool. As long as we can keep the zombies from getting an encirclement on these guys, they'll actually kill so many of them. Look at that, we're at 8,000, we've lost 41. I think the numbers are in our favor. We're moving the guys out of the middle who really aren't fighting. And we are just gonna build the greatest mini shield wall since Thermopylae. Yeah, boys, let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. Now we've weakened the absolute center, but I think it was for the best. Actually, are they still? Yeah, we kind of we're divvying them up into two lines now. And look at this. Are zombies? Are you seeing any hit animations? Because if there's no hit animations, then they're doing their job. All right, let's let's help this other one. Oh my God! Actually, hold on. There's a lot over here. We need more. We need more soldiers. Let's put them. Reinforce the ranks. So we're gonna just have bodies on bodies on bodies. We're gonna get an archer up here. Can we? Can we make it to the front? Our oh, arrows needed at the front, my lord. Make a way, gentlemen. Please. Please move your shields. This is quite tight. It's a very tight squeeze here, guys. I realize that your lives are on the line, but that's what I'm trying to do. We're going to put this archer on the point. I wonder if what's his name? He should still be alive. 
Yeah, that's right, dude, big guy. All right. Now let's get Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon, you are needed near the front. Fire! Good job. Laying down suppressive fire, Matt. That Damon. And we are going. We're going to the front. Yeah, I need to get through here, boys. For Amer for America. Come on, boys. Come on. We're gonna we're gonna make it through. We're gonna slowly push through. Dude, those two Spartans are being bosses. Alright. Alright, you're gonna sit behind them here. No, why are you shooting that way? You noob. Alright, well now he decides to shoot that way. Do you see where he's firing? He, well, I guess he's shooting that way. Dude, these guys are definitely gonna die. Actually, they're slowly dying. They've only killed 52. Oh, we picked the wrong guy. So let's pick this guy. We need to reinforce this line. We've lost a few brave Spartans on the peripheral wall. Nope. That's not who I wanted. Let's pick this guy. You're probably going to get sent to your death. This one archer here. And... Come on. Oh, get to the front. How did these guys squeeze through? Not very well with their shields. Slowly but surely. Yeah, these guys would get overrun, wouldn't they? Seems the guy on this side always gets ganked. Because he probably gets surrounded the worst. So we're gonna put some guys behind him. Maybe that'll help. Come on! We're moving Spartans to this flank. We're gonna bunch it up so that way with their spears they should be able to, you know, stab past each other's shields and other spears. The Great Wall, <laughs> this is the Great Wall. I can't even imagine how long a 100,000 zombie battle would take. We should have upped their damage maybe. All right guys, how's, how's the fight? We've killed 50% and the zombies are still coming. I need 10 times speed. Give me 10 times speed. It is 4 p.m. Like, this battle is taking days upon days. The archers are some of the smart ones lining up. Dude, if we had grenade throwers, maybe catapults would have been cool. These guys are bosses. I wish you could see how many kills each unit has. That would be impressive. Although that would kind of require, what, maybe more coding by having to keep track of the stats? Dude. Dude, Matt Damon is killing everybody who puts their head over that hill that doesn't get stabbed. Just absolute slaughter fest. We've lost 61 Spartans, guys. Probably most of the ones that are like getting. You know what? Then let's. Yeah, attract them. We're gonna. Oh god. We need more faster. Move them! Move the soldiers to the front! Shield wall! Yeah, the, the zombies are getting hit animations in, so you know these guys are going to eventually die. Maybe get some archers over here? Well, there's one. Yeah, let's get some archers. See, I, I, if I could move all, like, 30 archers over here... Look at them. Look at them firing randomly. They're so bad. <laughs> They're so bad at with where I position them. And they're not, they don't, fa they're not fast at moving, but we can up the speed of these guys. All right, I've been, I've been trying to reposition them. It does take a while by only being able to control one at a time. But for the most part, 20,000, there's only 5,000 left. Less than 5,000 right now. I wonder if some of them die from falling. Actually, some of them are, so that's actually helping us, is the zombies are kind of dumb. It is 7 a.m. I think that we've been fighting for three days now. A lot of our guys are literally surrounded by dead bodies. 
buried in them even. Take retake the peak. Retake the peak, boys. We just need more than they have up there. Local superiority. Even though they have numerical superiority, we shall overcome the zombie apocalypse. Alright. You. Up a little bit. Yeah, now you're stabbing. This guy, you need... You're, you're, you're buried in bodies, friend. Let's jump you out here. March you to the top. Slowly push up. Now let's cover this gap. I'm going to see if we can't do this and if it won't help us. Hopefully it won't hurt us, right? We'll slowly inch out. And now that that side is secure, we I'm going to try to push back. I'm going to try to move men back up on this, on this mountain of bodies. And I think, wow, we moved way too fast right there. I need water. This battle has gone on so long. I need water. Just to keep commentating. We should have added catapults. That would have been pretty cool. How's this side doing? More than adequate? Some of these guys are turning the other way because they have nobody to fight. This is such a nice line. Now that the sun's come up, Look at this. Beautiful. Stab. Stab. If they had Zepho swords as well as their spears, and they could shield push and kick and, like, push people back, like, had different animations, like, different attacks. How are these guys doing? Okay. We need to move you up so that you're in a supportive position. Or these guys are once again going to get overrun. We're going to pivot. Zombies don't have a chance. They don't have a prayer. Pivot! Pivot the line! Aye, pivot the line, Captain. Alright. Slowly but surely we will we will retake this hill for Sparta and for the free world. We'll grab them and then we'll stab once before we go to select the other guy. These guys have... I mean, can you imagine how tired you'd be after fighting this long? Oh man, those guys are getting overrun on that flank. Move this guy because he's the closest and we need immediate support. If you have kind of like two lines of these Spartans, I've noticed it works out pretty well. We've kind of pushed a guy almost off, I think. Yeah, look at this. Oh, you're, you're trapped? You're literally trapped. I think that guy was actually trapped. Some of these guys haven't even fought. I want to fight. We'll put you at the point of the spear then. I wonder who's got the most kills and where he's at. Well, it'd probably be Matt Damon, wouldn't it? Or did Matt Damon die? Wait a minute, did Matt Damon die? Did Ma I think... Oh, God. I think Matt Damon is dead, guys. Our other Matt Damon is dead. So we've only got a couple hundred zombies. This is it. The last... The last of the zombie horde right here. Two strands of zombies. Some of them are actually getting shot by maybe arrows. Or maybe it was the Thompson. I'm not sure. Only four archers survived. Oh, there's, there we go. 161 Spartans are remaining. I should have just counted that when I would have seen that all the archers were dying. I don't know how I missed it, but when you have thousands and thousands and thousands of soldiers. I want to fight! Yeah! Oh. You forgot how to use your spear. Hit and run! I'm going to try to bring them here. 
to here. This is a death trap. Come on, guys. Come in. Come and get some. Oh, spear to the head. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a trap! There we go. That's working pretty nicely. We're going to go attract some more. The Spartans, now that they have the room to maneuver, are, are making traps. Oh, God! Oh, that was that was clutch. He almost he almost got his booty eaten. The foundation of blood. Come on, Zams. The zombies literally only have 500 left. All right, now stab them in the sides. It's a trap. Wow, still, still they come. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Come on, I'm gonna take you to the trap. Some of these guys haven't gotten a fight or even see zombies up close, and you know, Boagrius here, Boagradonis. You know, he just he just wants to help his guys. He wants to help his guys. Billy Bob bonus. There we go. All right. Well, some Spartans never even stabbed anything. One hundred and. 20 and dropping. Look, all of these guys are dead. This is it, dude. Mountains of bodies. Oh, man, that shot is just... It's just beautiful. And these guys here... Getting a lot of action. This, this would be the last zombie. The last zombie's right here. Let's go ahead and put it on so that we've got less than 50. Less than 40. Zeke the last zombie Less than 30 Oh god those noises are gross Wait what's this guy doing You gotta fight You gotta die I'm a zombie Wait a minute There's apparently 16 zombies remaining Hey guys I'm just a zombie. You know what? We could have had them, like, all attack at the same time. I wonder what the Spartans would do. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> Alright, well... Where are the surviving zombies, then? They gotta be stuck. We're gonna call this one a victory, though. Yeah, they, they could be buried. Actually, these guys... They're shooting over this... Oh! What are they doing? Oh, we just had to attract them. They got they got distracted. They got their morale dropped. Yes, the last one. Spartans are victorious. All right, guys. So, let's go over once more what we've got because I want to hear your suggestions. We've got unit customization, chicken, wild man catapults archers we're gonna make robin hood footmen ogres heavy knights orcs penguins spartans romans soldiers and zombies we can put so many different ones in at the same time it's gonna be pretty epic this music is glorious we've got one map to work with right now whoa excuse me i'm hungry and you know what it's been pretty awesome i'll see you guys in the next video